Come here, Matthew. Milk. milk. You have to drink milk if you're a dairy farmer. Knock, knock. Interrupting cow. Moo. Another one? Oh boy. Bye bye. Have a good day. Be good. Okay. Be good. Love you. They are headed to school. Danielle's headed to the gym. And I'm headed to work. Someone has to feed the planet. I'm Brian Fiscalini. We are here at Fiscalini Farms, which is a fourth generation California dairy farm located in Modesto, California. When my great grandfather started this farm 105 years ago, he started with 12 Holstein cows. And we've been fortunate enough to continue to farm on the same piece of ground that he purchased over 100 years ago. You know, 105 years ago, Milk was milk, and there was milk in the grocery store, and it was one product, and it all looked the same, and it all tasted the same. We make a lot more products today than what was being made when my great-grandfather was running this farm. So we milk 1,500 cows three times a day. We use a portion of that milk to be made into our own branded cheese, and then um, the rest of that milk we sell to Nestle. You know, we sell more than just milk and cheese. We sell electricity. We take the waste from all of those cows and we turn it into power. So we utilize a technology called a methane digester. So we have two tanks that store cow manure. Two methane digester tanks that each hold 750,000 gallons of cow manure. We heat those tanks up. So if you think about heat and cow poop together, you're gonna to make a lot of methane gas. We capture that gas and we pipe it to an engine. That engine converts methane gas into electricity. That smell is gonna turn your lights on at your home later tonight. We produce about 700 kilowatts per hour. Your average home needs about one to one and a half kilowatts to run. The power that we produce is enough electricity to run our cheese plant, our dairy farm, and then we also have excess power that powers about 300 homes in the community. I would guess that most people that live in our surrounding areas would be very surprised to know that their electricity actually came from a renewable source and was cow manure at one point. This is crazy. We're not using it anyways, why not? I use power for a lot of stuff. Fans, lights, clippers obviously. Get some power out of it, get some haircuts. Get some haircuts out of it, I like that. Powered by poop. Just another day in paradise. So if we were to just, you know, have this pile of, of cow manure out there and we weren't able to apply it to the land, it would give off, um, you know, greenhouse gases. What we're doing is we're trying to reduce them as much as we can and use it for another process. There are misinformed consumers out there and they may say, wow, that industry is polluting. And I think that if the average consumer knew that there was this 100-year-old dairy farm in, in the heart of the Central Valley in Modesto that was converting methane gas into electricity, they would probably look at farmers a little different way. When you think about it, 
we've been sustainable for, for over 100 years. And maybe the word sustainable wasn't around or wasn't thought of the same way that it is today. But my grandfather had a very, a very thorough intention of keeping this land around for further generations. The decisions that we make today, they're gonna to affect our children and they're gonna affect their children. I think when they get a little bit older, I think they're just gonna have a huge appreciation that um, dad's not just a farmer. You know, dad is caring about the environment, he's caring about his cows. And when I come home after a, a hard day of work, you know, my, my job then is, is no longer to be a dairy farmer, but it's to be dad. Um, you know, we're all in this together. And when I say all of us, I mean all of us here on this farm, all of us in Modesto, you know, all of us in this country and the world. Agriculture has to be part of the solution of what, what the world looks like in 10, 20, 50 years from now. There will be a great opportunity for the fifth generation uh, because of what we're doing. If they want the opportunity to come back to this farm, we are committed and we're gonna make sure that we leave it in a very, very good condition for them.